From Case Western Reserve University, this is the Research Report, highlighting discoveries for life. Mountains of paper medical records could become obsolete with the help of the stimulus package. We'll computerize the nation's health records in five years, saving billions of dollars in health care costs and countless lives. I think this is great news. A lot of Dr. David Kalber is an assistant professor of internal medicine and pediatrics at Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine in Cleveland and chief medical informatics officer at the Metro Health System, one of the first hospitals in the country to install a commercial electronic so, record system. You know, I mean, the real that, hope uh, is that with health IT or electronic medical records, it really will bring uh, health care into this technology revolution side. And it's not going to be perfect, but I think when we look back several decades from now, we'll really, as we do with other industries, say, wow, you know, look at what IT uh, has been able to do for healthcare. Electronic health record systems have tremendous potential to improve health outcomes, but there also are significant risks and challenges right now. Sharona Hoffman is professor of law and bioethics at the Case Western Reserve University School of Law. She and her husband, Andy Podgursky, a professor at the Case School of Engineering, have published one of the first studies calling for federal regulation of electronic health records. We need to regulate them. We need to have an approval system for them and a monitoring system in the same way that the FDA regulates devices. Currently, electronic health record systems undergo a one-day testing by a private certification organization. But Hoffman and Podgursky think governmental oversight is needed, with extensive testing and approval before new systems could hit the market. These systems are really going to manage patient care. They're going to give the doctor prompts and alerts. They're going to suggest diagnoses and treatment plans. They're going to control what medication is ordered for you. And if we don't have quality control, then these systems can be quite dangerous. Right now, only 17% of doctors and 57% of hospitals use electronic health records to any extent. Hoffman and Podgursky say stimulus package money can increase those numbers if there's careful attention to usability and design. Health information technology has tremendous promise to improve patient care. And so we should also be excited about it. We just need to make sure that we go about this transition responsibly and thoughtfully. This is the Research Report from Case Western Reserve University. For more discoveries for life, visit case.edu.